Today we are near the Place Vendôme in Paris and we are going to talk with Frédéric Bondou, the president of Grand Psycho Europe. You know, um, the beautiful novel from uh, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, The Little Prince. There is actually a beautiful experience between the little prince and the small fox. And the small fox said to the little prince, one day uh, I will be unique for you. It's just a question of experience, a question of um, learning, a question of understanding. Grand Seiko is a unique brand because of two main things. First of all, the, the quality of the manufacture as such, which is absolutely incredible, everything is by, by hand uh, in-house in Japan, but also the emotion which comes out of the, of the brand, which is very, very, very special to me. It's like an essence of uh, the Takumi, uh, which is a special uh, philosophy of craftsmanship in Japan. And this um, globality uh, makes the brand very unique to me. We have just something like 40 or 50 watchmakers only. In Japan, we mean that to, be, to become a Takumis, you need to have 60,000 working hours to be able to be yourself a master in a, in a position to convey your message or give away your, your, your know-how. It's very, very um, uh, linked to the Japanese culture and philosophy. Um, it's a beautiful, um, uh, to my, to my uh, opinion, it's a beautiful way of seeing life and the way of entering uh, in, in your working uh, uh, obligations, I would say. It's a duty for our watchmakers to achieve the best possible um, uh, creation in our watchmaking industry. Grand Seiko is a quite young brand, actually. It was created in 1960, so we are 60 years old. It was basically made only for the Japanese domestic market. Uh, the brand has been uh, open to the international uh, sales only for 10 years ago. Means that uh, we have actually um, a certain scope of uh, honors. Uh, this is uh, what I'm saying here when we opened the boutique. We opened the boutique here in Paris Vendôme for three months ago. And uh, we have achieved almost 70% uh, of our sales toward young people less than 35 uh, uh, years old, which is quite an, an impressive. So uh, this is mostly young, young people, uh, men, uh, between 20 to 35 years old, um, very well educated, um, uh, healthy, and uh, they do have a lot of uh, knowledge about uh, what's going on with the watch industry. Um, uh, but nevertheless, there is also a lot of uh, more mature, uh, like me, <laughs> customers. Um, who are also very, very convinced and very um, uh, pleased to uh, discover our beautiful collection. Japan decided to open the brand uh, to the export only for 10 years ago. Three years ago, they decided to separate, uh, technically, Seiko from Grand Seiko. It was announced officially during the Basel Fair 2017. Therefore, they created um, the first affiliate only dedicated to Grand Seiko, which was based in the US, Grand Seiko Corporation of America. In this verb, they still uh, have the uh, vocation to create what have been achieved here, Grand Seiko Europe, um, operating since only six months uh, in Europe. And the scope is to target uh, a new client of clientele, recruit new customers. But it's, um, as far as Grand Seiko is a very, very um, particular brand, unique brand, we are also looking and seeking for particular and unique uh, customers. Place Vendôme is a very, very special setting for luxury uh, boutique. It's a statement as such to be here, um, uh, but come back to the roots of the Place Vendôme. It was basically the place where all the jewels with a special craftsmanship were able to uh, display their, uh, their knowledge and their, uh, their know-how. In that sense, it makes fully sense for Grand Seiko uh, and his Takumi to come here and to show once again to all over the world as a resonance uh, the importance of uh, our uh, uh, craftsmanship. This um, new uh, tourbillon, which is still a prototype, uh, which uh, is um, a very amazing uh, balance between uh, 
what we call T0 uh, between tourbillon and uh, constant force um, is the achievement of eight years of uh, research and development. It's not yet a final product because it's not, it's not to be sold so far, but don't forget that it has been associated with all the development of the other calibers. We have just released two new calibers for our six years anniversary this year, a new sprint drive, a new uh, high bit movement, and this new high bit um, was one of the components of this uh, research. It gives actually two visions of the future for, for, for GS. What uh, we want to achieve first, it's the best accurate uh, product uh, caliber for, for, for the next generations in terms of uh, um, uh, classical caliber or mechanical calibers. But not only, we want also to um, be a part of the future uh, development in the high-end essence of craftsmanship. We want to give our contribution to the legacy of the watchmaking. It's a very particular situation. If you want to predict the future, I don't know, but if you want to have a certain clearance of what could happen, just look at the past and then you will have maybe an answer for the future.